When repairing a detached book cover, if I want the repair to last only for years, I'll use Aileen's Original Tacky Glue. After a few years, it will cause browning of the pages due to the acid content. If, on the other hand, I want a repair to last for decades, I'll use Aileen's Acid Free. I'm going to be repairing this detached book cover by running a single bead of Aileen's Acid Free Tacky Glue along the inside top edge of the spine. Try to make the edges of the book cover and the book block smooth by cutting off any excess between the book cover and the book block. Instead of removing loose areas of paper, you may choose to glue before attaching the book block to the cover. Overhanging areas should be trimmed off. If the fly leaf has become detached from the book block, take a small brush and some glue and glue that back together. Now I take the Aileen's Acid Free Tacky Glue and I run a single bead of it along the inside top edge. I'm being a little bit generous with the amount I'm putting on here. I'm only doing the top edge because I want the spine to remain flexible and it does remain flexible in the other books that I've done. Before I close the cover I take a brush and I clean up any excess. So now I close the book for 24 hours and let it dry. Closing the book will spread the glue from the spine to the cover. The curve of the spine has been changed somewhat by the repair. However, the pages still lie as flat on the repaired side as they do on the unrepaired side. Here's the repaired seam and I'm just going to test its strength. After the repair is done, there will be a visible seam in the book, so I cover that with a piece of flyleaf paper, which I get from a donor book such as this book here and it's cream colored and most books are cream colored and here's how the seam looks after it's covered in order to prepare the flyleaf paper I measure the book from top to bottom and make the donor piece of flyleaf paper the same height I make the width of the seam cover anywhere from one and a half inches to two inches wide and I put a mark right in the middle of that so in other words, this is an inch and a half and this is three quarters. So I put a mark on the bottom and on the top. And then, using a ruler, place it on the, on the marks and very lightly, very, very lightly, I just score the flyleaf paper and I bend that right along the seam. Very lightly I score it so as not to cut through. Now I take a brush and the tacky glue and I just brush along the surface of the flyleaf paper slash seam cover and until it's fully covered. And when I've got every bit of it covered, I uh, take my book and I place the seam cover right into the groove there as best as I can. And then I push it in with a craft stick and then I close the book. After I close the book I open it one last time to be sure that all the surfaces are against each other. Also another way to, uh, instead of a craft stick, another thing to use to get the uh, seam cover into the groove is a, is a, is a ruler. And after that my repair will be complete.